day. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes. Thank you. We're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Do use the current host code found on our website at mitomsocrafts.com to be given a handmade gift or card in the following month. And if you order more than £50 worth of products um, for December 2020, uh, it will, will give you a free pack of wonderful gems. Uh, but any other promotions you can find from our website as well. Uh, when you do qualify for that, uh, Free packs of gem. You'll also qualify for a free Stamping Glam Squad tutorial, exclusively um, written by the Stamping Glam Squad. This is so well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so we see most of you have already popped in a comment. So if you are watching uh, and pop in a comment, you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream. Or if you are watching the replay, do pop in a comment and you'll be put into the next um, random draw on our next live stream, which will be on Sunday. Yes. Yeah? Sunday. On Sunday. No, yes. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Yes. But there will be one on Friday. Well, I'm you, not sure yeah, yet. You, you, don't, you, you didn't I don't do one last yet. week, so that's fine. So let's... I did. Did I? You, you did a Facebook Live, but you didn't do a random yeah, draw. Yeah, that's it. Just to confuse everyone. <laughs> anyway, let's say hello to people. So we have Valerie, Steph, Mandy, Kathy, Delphine, Deborah, Sandra, Mindy. I can see Tommy just like eyeing me up on the floor down there. Uh, Susan, hello, Joanna. Steph. Uh, with some very painful fingers by the sound oh, of no. it. Does that mean somebody else is going to be cooking Christmas dinner though? Hopefully get better soon. Yes. Steph. Wishing you um, a quick recovery. Joanne, um, Maureen, Debbie, Lisa, and Kerry, Kerry. So far, so hello. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so we will do the random draw first for Paris card. Um, so this one was actually created during Paris Facebook Live on our um, page, Mitoso Crafts and using the gilded leafing and the art gallery stamp set as yeah. well. So this is the one which we created with a gilded leafing on Sunday, Sunday, which Nita won this card. So this is still gonna be heading its way over to you. Um, it's all ready to go. So it will be in the post to you tomorrow. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's so, so that gilded gilded leafing is absolutely lovely. So if you wanna see how that card was made, check out the video. Um, and it is all on there ready for you, but we're going to be picking a winner for this card now. I did pop the link in earlier on, so hopefully a few more of you may have got a comment in. Um, if you have, then good luck. Yes. So let's turn it round and see. So good. And where is Sorry. it? We are there. So let's just refresh. Nope, no more new comments. So the winner is going to be... Good luck, everyone. Deborah. Deborah. Congratulations, Deborah. Deborah, please message us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com um, with your address and let us know that you're happy to receive it and we'll pop that card in the post to you. So good. Lovely. Yes. Ooh, yes. Isn't that pretty? I Have love you? the shine. Yeah, I love the shine. The shine is completely different to how the um, how embossing powder works. So it's... A, Obviously, embossing powder might be a little bit easier sometimes, but I don't, you won't be able to get that same effect and it doesn't mm. shine as much. They are no. two very, very different things. So, yeah, I'm so happy they've brought gilded leafing um, in for us. So, yes, yeah, so many more cards to come, hopefully, with some gilded leafing. And at the moment, all of these cards which we've done with it are non... Um, well, apart from that one with a little bit of the heat embossing, have been... You don't need a heat tool for it. So they are just using your um, tools which you've got around to to help you out. Yes. Sorry, Tommy's making his way. You can just yeah. see his tail down. Tommy there. is um, Tommy has has joined us. <laughs> Meow. So yes. So on to tonight's um, demonstration. 
So we decided to do the ledge pop up card. Uh, I was just gonna do do it with the coming home stamp set, but I was like, why don't you do it with the new mini catalog stuff? So I, um, the basis is there, but the overall design is still in my head. So, uh, so we, it could go completely like the pear shape. And for some reason, I have got a horrible feeling that I'm going to be up and down like a yo-yo tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. So, but yeah. I think Tommy might have other plans to be oh. doing any crafting this evening because he is now laying on the table. We see Krista's um, popped in as well. So do say hi to our moderator, Krista, and she'll um, read your comments as well. If you have any questions, we'll try and more we can afterwards yes lovely all right so we're ready i will i need to turn you tommy come on i'm just going to move this big boy out of the way come on down there and we're going to get crafting cool right so the set that I'm actually going to be using, you right? Yeah, I'm just checking the camera. Yeah. Is, you can see it here, the snail mail. So this is the stamp set called Snailed It. Uh, it's got some lovely images which you can color with your, with any of the Stampin' Up coloring tools. I prefer to color in the Stampin' Blend, so I'll be doing that. I have used again. I haven't. Pl I haven't actually played with this yet. So I'm gonna use the designer series paper colors. So you have basic gray, Bermuda Bay, blushing bright, daffodil delight, real red, and whisper white. But for that, I'll just quickly show you the papers. So it's twelve by twelve, double sided. So you have some lovely um, what you call that? Speech bubbles, and look at that. So pretty, and blushing bright. And real red looks quite nice together. And then you have, looks like postage stamps because it's snail mail. And you have packing packages um, in there as well. And some, what you call that? I guess snail trail. And then on the other side, you have the lovely images. Oh look, he's quite fun. So lovely, lovely images already colored. So um, I'll double check the dyes that comes with it. So some, what mushroom is that? What would you call that? To to those two? I just know Super Mario. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then the other side is the hearts. And then this is probably what I'm going to be using. It's, it's not the most uh, colorful one, but it's just going to be for the background. So that's probably what I'm going to be using. But the back of it, it's got the small snails on there. So I'll put that aside. And then the last one is this one with some squiggly. It reminds me actually of the coming home with this one. Uh, but the one in the, um, no, trimming the town was in real red and whisper white so again some more um snails so let's have a look at the dyes that comes with it so these products are, can be found in the upcoming mini catalog january to june and will be available from the 5th of june from our online shop oh no don't you hate that when that happens there we go that's fine so you get um Again, it looks like postage stamps edges. It's got some um, stitching in there in the border as well. Mini envelope, and then with a die cut in the middle, you can die cut with stitching. Couple of hearts. This one will cut out your toadstool. And then this one will cut out the snail with the present and then the other ones is your other snail and then the sent them um speech bubble oh actually it's that one isn't it and that one will cut out the what you call that 
the letter. <laughs> Watch my hold that. So I will probably be using all of those. And actually, I forgot. I just put put it aside. These ones. So you have three toadstools that cuts out as well. And I have been playing with that one, so it looks quite lovely as well. So you can either obviously cut it in your favorite color cardstock or just white and then use your blends to color it if you want or do the other way around. So that is that. So yeah, who's loving snail date? It was one of it 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 was one on our both our list, so we just have to have it. No, I'm just trying to see if any of these actually match. So one of the dies actually match the paper as well. And that is the same size as that one then. Oh, cats everywhere. And then we have the speech bubbles. Sorry, I'm just going through it because I'm, I'm still trying to think what else you can do with your dies. Because if you, if you don't have to stamp it, so those cuts the speech bubbles, which is great. And then what's the other one? The big one. I'm guessing that one. Oh, is this one. Yay. So amazing coordination from Stampin' Up as always. And also, I nearly forgot, it comes with the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack, um, which I'm guessing Blushing Bright and Whisper White. So I'll try and incorporate that as well. Cool, right, I'll put this aside. And I'll bring my notebook. I have pre-cut most of my stuff. I'm just bringing it in, so. Bear with, bear with. So initially we were gonna put the tutorial on our website and I was all ready, but as you can see, oh no, that's from an old one. These were the elements that I was gonna use and I was like, change it up. Okay, <laughs> I was like, great. <laughs> but these were the coming home uh, stamp set from the, um, mini catalog was it August to December and these were colored in cinnamon cider ivory uh, bronze and basic gray I love this color combination but we're not gonna use that I just wanted to show you I, I did all of those colorings and I was like no but they were done like ages ago um, <laughs> And this is what we're gonna try and achieve with the snail mail. So this one was with the houses. And then recently I did it with the perfectly plot and played whichever tomato, tomato, uh, and the pine tree punch. So this one, uh, much easier with the punch because you can just stamp and punch it, but um, you have more um, var variety with the dice. So that one is that one. Cool, so I have, I'm going to keep it simple with the cardstock um, and I'll open up my notebook. So my measurements um, is in inches. I have kind of like tried to do it in centimeters as well, but I'm just going to do it in inches for the time being. Uh, we'll put up a blog post or the tutorial on our website as well um, by the end of this week I'll say I was gonna say tomorrow but by the end of this week <laughs> so whisper white thick uh, that is eight inches by five and a half scored and folded in half at four inches and Barry will be handing me the toolbox so I can burnish that in a minute here we go <laughs> and it starts uh so the mechanism is actually quite um, simple. It's all um, strips of card. This is just normal whisper white. I'll do that now. There you go. 
So the number, where's my number ones? Cool. So this one is four and a half by half an inch. Um, and we'll do the scoring on that in a minute for the ledge. And for the mechanism that helps it to bring up, this is three quarters by two and a quarter or two and a quarter by three quarters scored at three eighths of an inch, seven eighths, one three eighths and one seven eighths. So that's my number one. Uh, number two is four and a half by uh, three quarters. And that is, yes, I'll do the scoring in that in a minute and this one is one and a half no yeah Thir three and a half by three quarters of an inch scored at three eighths one three eighths two one eighths and three one eighths and then the third one is four three quarters of an inch by an inch um, and then the mechanism is three three quarters three and three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch scored at which is which three three eighths one three eighths two three eighths and three three eighths but as mentioned i'll put that up on our website as well so i'm just going to burnish this and you can either use your simply scored um because it's kind of like i did it so it's easier in the Imperial, but you can also use your paper trimmer, which is actually what I use to do this small mechanism. So we'll start off with this one. And it's, it's basically creating um, V folds into your long strips. So for this one, because it's um, three, where is it? Where am I? <laughs> because, oh, you're right. Oh, Suki's just jumped on Barry's thing. Because this is half an inch uh, tall, we're gonna put in uh, a V fold that's kind of like an inch. So we're gonna mark at one inch. You okay? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> new, new folds. Oh, can I see that? Can you see? Can I zoom in actually? Is everyone okay? I haven't looked at the comments. I'm just gonna zoom in. Remind me to zoom out um, just so you can see. So I'm gonna do one inch. You just need the mark and then do it on the other side at half an inch. So it's basically whatever your height of that um, card, you will do it the same size as the first one and then double the side on the other. And then what you do that, then do is create um, a V fold from, can you see the mark? From there and then from there. So I'll just get my stylus my take your pick or you can use the paper trimmer as well so this one it just comes off but i'll i'll show you the paper trimmer and then I'll, sh I'll show the bigger ones with the stylus so if you align there so you can see that my if you can see i can't even see it the lines there close it up and then just do a score this one is easier because it's literally the end of that card and then onto that card so you'll get a v fold like that so for the second one we said um three quarters of an inch so I'll have to do this side one and a half and then half that is three quarters and I'll do that on the other side. 
so again do the corner to the bottom and then this one is there Ooh. okay and then the last one and that one's an inch so this one will be mark at half no sorry i was looking at the wrong one uh mark at one and two yes i doubted myself and i was like should be fine number one mark at is that four and three quarters it is yes mark at one it just looks really small but i had it on my notebook so it must be right <laughs> we'll see and then we'll do the same so for the stylus ow. so you all can you see my thing so you can just get a steel ruler will be better but you can just go like that and then but the paper trimmer is good as well can you see cool so i'll fold and burnish those in a minute um we'll do some stamping and coloring before we do the um the cards so I'll probably need some more Thick Whisper White, Barry. Thanks. So this is still new. Look, I haven't even... I'll zoom out, I'll zoom out. Uh, oh, that's about... Is that better? Thank you. So we have... So he's looking that way and he's looking that way okay so he's probably gonna go right left and then mushroom at the bottom let's do that is that gonna be big enough no So obviously because we're using Memento, uh, we're using Stampin' Blends, I'm gonna stamp in Memento. I'll just put this in blocks. That's the biggest block ever. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna stamp it and color it. And Memento. Sometimes if it's a new stamp set, um, I do like to just wipe my ink on it first. Uh, what's going to be better? I'll do it this way. So it can fit in the mini if I cut it that way. Yeah, it looks alright. I'll do a couple. Just in case. I mess up and because it's gonna be Ooh. it just blew on because it's gonna be um quite um elaborate card already I'm just gonna keep the coloring quite simple so we have I've just got the colors but we don't have blushing bright so I'm actually gonna see what the flirty flamingo would look um, so we have real red and Bermuda Bay 
I'll just quickly do the toadstool. So where's the light one? Start off with the light. Ooh, that looks lovely. And my um, trusty shock marker might come out again. Just for the highlights. Hmm? Keep it simple. Keep it simple, yes. I'm keeping it simple, yes sir. And I'm gonna go in with the dark underneath. He says, that looks all right. And then flirty flamingo light for the stalk. Keep it all the same, just keep it simple, but obviously you can do it more elaborately. <laughs> elaborately. I'm gonna use blushing br uh, blushing bright light Bermuda Bay for the greenery. Of course, if you have either granny apple green would look nice, old olive for a darker shade. For, shall I say a regal shade is it a regal collection isn't it I was talking to the one person that's in the same room as me but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine no worries <laughs> Just talk to myself <laughs> um, dark Bermuda Bay Ooh, that's funky. Light, hopefully that goes lighter in a second. And then we'll do the same here. We'll just do light and then dark Bermuda Bay underneath. And then with the chalk marker, you can just do either dots on a couple of these. And then a line on this one. That one, one is down. And then for the snail, how did they color the snail? They colored it in flirty flamingo and it looks like pool party but I think it's like a shade of Bermuda Bay um, so we'll do fl light flirty flamingo Ooh, that's a bit wet for the body can you pass me pool party actually and let's see how that works. Right, I've gone onto my. Ooh, that's end. dark. Yes, please. Is that dark? That's a light. Thank you. <laughs> that was a big sign. Um, whilst that's there, I'll. So this is the light pool party. I'll do the small one. Oh, I think we need a new one. So the, uh, what's it called? The giant year and close out is still going on. So check out what's left because it's stock are only available to purchase whilst la they last yeah whilst stock last even so check it out check it out and whatever is left on the clearance rack again that has been updated as well uh, so light flirty light pool party and then we'll do some light 
Bermuda. And then dark at the bottom. Cool, that looks funky. What have we got left? We have Daffodil Delight. Color it as you please. I'm just using these colors as they were in the designer series paper. Are we back? So it's not just Sundays <coughs> as previously thought. Should be back now. Yay, cool. Yes, yeah, so it's not just Sundays. I think it's just in the evening, right? Light flirty flamingo. So that's done. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Um, chalk marker again. I'm just gonna do like so. Uh, that probably won't show. No, I think it's fine. Are we okay? Refresh your browser if you're having issues. Please. Yeah, okay. No, we're fine. Okay. So we have... Snail. And I'm gonna color his... Shell? Yeah. Shell. The light flirty flamingo. have to do sorry I know I said quick and easy I just had to add the dark on there and I'm just gonna blend it out because I thought his <laughs> his shell was looking a bit oh we can do dots we can dot it there you go have some dotty. Barry was laughing. Cool. So one, two, three. Ooh, for the topper. Which one? Which one for the front card? The, shall we just do those ones? What other funky colors can we do? I do like the, um, Mushroom. Mushroom. Or we can just do a sen a sentiment at the front. If you're a printer or print quality of the live stream on your end by tapping on the video opening the three dots. Um do we have that? I'm just gonna quickly do this and then change the colors underneath. So this one's gonna be a dark flirty. Looks better. And then a lighty. Yellow. Yellow. In the dark. Yeah, that looks all right. Where is my light? That's nice. Bermuda Bay and pool party. And then we'll do... Ooh, I'll do dark pool party. 
for this one. Yeah, that was alright. Right, I'm just gonna put the lids on because barrel the new. And then we can cut them out. How are we doing for time? I didn't use basic basic gray, which is in the DSP as well. Let's do the same. And then if we cut them, so I, I'll cut them that way, so it'll fit into the mini suki. Mm, that might be close, but we'll see. So, mini suki. Hello. Sorry for the wobbles. And the plates, I did bring them underneath as always. So the same goes for the big suki. So you need the base plate, which is number one. And then the cutting plates, which are the number twos. Can you see? So I'm just gonna cut these off. I will use mine there we go oh that's nice washies and whilst it's there i'm just gonna cut this one as well and then run that through Wibbly wobbly snail coming through. Can you cut the other ones for me, please? Sorry. <laughs> if you read some comments, what did it say? Is keeping track on how many times <laughs> you um, asked me, and my comment was it'd be the die cutting next. And Mandy, you can see Amanda's comment there, number four. There, <laughs> told you all. Shh. <laughs> um, yeah, this one, thanks. That's for the small one. This one, okay, thanks. Uh, there you go, it cuts lovely as always. So I will just color that bottom bit when uh, whilst my assistant is helping. And I snuck in uh, a bit of <clears throat> dark flirty on there just to blend it out. But you can see, look how lovely that is. Just use the darkened light, but I'll stop there. So I did um, go ahead, I'm gonna, well, this was my play like dice? 10 minutes before, huh? Where are the dice for the other two? Is it not on the paper? Well, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that one there, is it? That one. That's that one. I just want that one and Which? the one that are the colored one. Okay. Can't to get the stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Please, please do it. Um, yeah, so this one was um, the cut from one of the topper dies, and it's got a lovely stitching on it. And this one, it was on Thick Whisper White, so it has got some nice um, weight to it. And the stamp set, 
what have we got? We have what will fit in it. So you have the Happy Mail that will fit in there. Obviously, these ones will fit quite nicely on there as well. So I'll just have that at the front uh, of the card. But whilst that's being done, we can do the inside. So I thought for the inside, we're just gonna use designer stairs paper for the background to uh, help save me from stamping it. So if you remember earlier, I'll be using this one. And I thought um, doing it horizontally will actually be quite nice to then kind of like go with the ledge going across so we have so that one is four inch by five and a half so if I'm just gonna cut it down to so if I do it that's four so that I'll have three okay I'll do three and three quarters so I'll have a border on both sides and we said five and a half so five and a quarter So just two of those. And then you have off cut. Maybe I can use that at the front. So we'll just stick those down. Of course, if you wanted to go across, you, you could have gone the other way around, but hey ho, it's done. So here we go. So for all the demos out there who's got this one already or is it on your wish list? And if you're a customer, will it go onto your order next month? That looks alright. Did you just say, hey ho? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. So done. That was quick. Yeah. You are right. Is it moving? Okay, so before we can finish off the front, we're gonna have to do the inside bit um, first because it'll be hard to fold it when it's already got stuff on the front. So burnish, fold and bur burnish the stuff from earlier. Bring them back. So it's literally just Doing that so I've got my first ledge with the this one and this one is basically just going to be folded in itself to help it along and that's gonna be and to create Oh, it's tiny, it's fiddly to create a square piece like that. And then we have, did I fold it the wrong way? There we go. So that's gonna get done. So it's gonna go like that, right? Mm. I've forgotten how it went. Yes, it is correct. Down. Yeah. So I marked it, this edge. 
So this one, you can actually, it's, you can change it up and down depending on how big your elements are. So if you have that, the bottom edge or the edge, right edge, if you stick that just onto the right of the spine, can you see? Like so, and you're only adding glue into this tiny, tiny area, obviously on the other end. And what I mean by you can go up or down is when it close, it does fold up. So if you have your item, um, I just needed the colored pieces. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Um, so for example, this one, if it goes up, so that will be too, too tall. So we'll see how tall the small one is before I stick it down. But on my original, this one was at two, two and a half from the top. And then this one was three and a half inches from the top. And then the third piece would actually, actually um, align at the bottom of the card. Okay, thank you. So we'll do the bottom one because that's what um, we have now. So if it's going to the right, you want your V going that way. So this one was done with the stylus. So if you don't want to do, you can actually just fold it down because I didn't do it properly. There you go. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. I couldn't, I couldn't call it score straight. There we go. But that's what the um bone folder is good. Thank you. So for this one, it's going to go to the left and it's uh, various uh, um, height. So then you have <coughs> different um, kind of like height when it comes out. So this one is going to go there like, so, like that. So we're going to stick that down. But before we do that, we'll just might as well finish doing burnishing and folding. So this one is going to go on the right. Is that way? Like that. I'm just gonna burnish it. That's why I, I'm using Whisper White. So it just normal Whisper White. Uh, just so it doesn't give it more bulk to the card. And then these ones. So that one's number one. This one is number three. That one and this one. So there, there is a bit of, um, quite a bit of elements on this one, but it's really just quite easy scoring. Um, I think that's the hardest scoring is this bit. That's about it. Yeah, that looked all right, actually. I was um, worried that it was gonna be too tiny. So also, the width of the mechanism also depends on the width of your toppers or whatever you're gonna put in it. <clears throat> because obviously you want to hide it. So for this one, I did three quarters of an inch, but you can have wider if you want. So for the, the houses, I did one inch because it you can hide it anyway so no this one is going there and that one's going here so and obviously the height as well depending on where it is so to do to, to add this on again you can choose wherever you want it as long as you stick the tabs onto your ledge 
All right, I'm just gonna stick that down. So, yeah, so the tab goes in like so, and then what you then need to do is add another glue in the other side. Fold that in half and then fold that up. And then that's your standing uppy bitty thingy. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> so we'll do the same for the other two. So you can have it. So I've done middle for little there and then this one will just do the same. More to the right, I think. So probably fold it so you, you know that it's not going to go over that edge because you want that flushed onto your card. Fold it down, add glue, fold it up. Don't be a Mr. Blobby head. There, and then finally this one is slightly over. It's gonna go because it was, otherwise you'll just have a really tiny, a quarter of an inch. So if that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. So it's a simpler version, but hopefully you'll learn how to do the ledge pop-up. And then I'm gonna, Go here closer to the spine so at least it's kind of like slanted and we could you could always snip it so I like to obviously um, you can cut it down if you want to but it's easier to cut it down than do all that work and then you you're wanting it longer there we go so if i do it there i'm just gonna see how far up yet yeah, that's gonna be too high so i'm i'm just so I said two and a half on that one, so I probably just need to go down lower. Yeah. So, uh, where am I? Ruler and pencil. I'll try it at two. Two and three quarters. So seven centimeters that goes like that and then when you go up it will hide it so you know that that will fit in okay does that make sense uh, we'll never be able to do it would love to see that <laughs> So we'll start off from the bottom, um, so just glue that triangle, align, so the right edge down here, so you can have it all the way down. I know it hides the DSP, but I nearly said hey ho again, but you know. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. And then whilst that is flapping about, if you fold it like so, add glue there. And then this will glue onto your card. Okay. Don't fold it up that way because 
you don't want to glue it that way you just fold that down how did I actually do it oh I know if you fold that there across apity apity <laughs> fold it up you basically want to glue that side onto that side did that make sense shall I do it in slow motion because so whilst it's up like that fold the second score line to the opposite end where you want want it to stick down have the glue facing you and then fold the front and then rub your card front to stick it there you go so for this one if i'm gonna stick that down to the two entry once you've stuck it you can't actually you can kind of like have it flat but sometimes most of my thing doesn't actually fold down flat flat so it's fine because you're not gonna have it stand up onto your shelf like really flattened anyway but it's, it should still fold flat it shouldn't display flat if that makes sense so for this one because I took that down um, a quarter of an inch, I'm going to take that one down as well. But there should still be enough space onto there. So again, glue in the triangle. And then because it's going to go to the right, we're going to put it on the left of the spine. That looks like quarter of an inch so second score line fold it opposite to where you want it it should really be straight but if it's not straight you can just help it along with your bone folder okay so it's opposite end I want the glue onto there so I'm just gonna glue that up and then when you're doing the second one you just need to make sure that this one goes underneath because otherwise you'll glue it onto the actual mechanism so does that make sense like so if you can see before you fold it down it's underneath rub the back and then it's stuck onto the other side i can't remember if i i actually shown the main the first prototype that i did with this one was actually with the pampered pets um i did the but I can't I didn't actually uh, decorate it I just had it as white so this one we're gonna fold that way Let's see again it, I didn't yeah it looks all right and then go up stick this one And then underneath fold that up and that is pretty much your ledge pop up we're just gonna decorate it so as I'm as mentioned you can make it more detailed with loads of different nails there we go because I'm and you can add I'll show you some um, tips as well with the 
perfectly plot the trees because I actually hacked into it. Um, when you're doing pop up, it's it's kind of like I what when I did it anyway, I was trying to make sure that where it was pleasing to the eye really, and some of the trees I done the the ledges before I done the trees, and I was like, oh no, I should have stuck it down first and things, but you could always just um, make it work. For you and then this one if I close that down rub it not rub it What noise do snails make? <laughs> what? So that will go like that. Um, so yes, yeah, so for this one, I was like, oh, I should have stuck that down first. So I actually just hacked into the die, uh, the punch images. I wanted to insert it, so I just snip onto it so I can then stick it in but I didn't glue it but you can glue it um, so for this one you can see that the ledge is not as um, lengthy long <laughs> so I did snip that afterwards which I'm gonna do with this one um, and for this one again I wanted the tree to be quite close to this tree so again I just snipped across it and then inserted it inside so and the floating what is this sentiment is just stuck on the bottom of the tree so you can use window sheets as well or before you stick this down have a window sheet there and then the sentiment there i might do that actually just to show you uh so barry window sheet and classic label punch please Gold. thanks or just window sheet is fine so so for the front, I'm just gonna use the offcut. So this one was four, no, three and three quarters of an inch. I'm just gonna have it there, there, and there. Just to keep it simple. Thank you. So window sheets is there. Have we not opened this one? Oh, yes, we have. I did say classic label punch, just so, but I can cut it. I place it there so it's quite flimsy you can just use your paper trimmer but sometimes it's just easier to um, punch it punch it up and I'm gonna insert that in underneath That was lucky, it wasn't stuck in properly. There. So hopefully that will so I just inserted it. So uh if you wanted the floating um sentiment in there, stick that window sheet down before you stick the snail. But I will have to add glue because I don't want it to go anywhere. It's stuck on my hand. There. Okay, and then we'll do a uh, sentiment. So the sentiment, um, oh, I love this. Snail it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have that one. So, Stamp it in. I'll just I'll just have memento 
and paper. Can I have whisper white? Just the off. Six and a half. Uh, yeah, I, I so many possibilities. I thought of doing um, the forever fern as well. Uh, you can do the the leaves falling out, uh, down and things, the fern, whatever they call it. And this one. Ooh, ooh, that die. Bar's gonna hit me. No, he won't. <laughs> the die will fit that one, right? This one, see? Oh, thank you. Oh, will it fit it? No. Oh. Can you try it? I can try it. But I don't think it will because you can okay. see it. Yeah, it's just over. I'll do it twice, and then I'll just cut it afterwards. Yeah. Let's see how much it actually loses. Cool. Thank you. That one. So whilst he's doing that, I'm gonna finish this off, and then we have the twine. Yeah. I think I'll have it that way. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that way. Is it too high? No, it's fine. And then for the twine, I'm gonna have it across. No, it doesn't work. No. It looks, doesn't look good. Okay, it's just too big. The, the sentiment is just too big. But at least we tried it. Now we know. Never again. <laughs> so. I'm just going to add this at the back. And then just wrap it a couple of times and then create a ball. And it's quite good, it's got the um, indentation already on there, so you, you could even do it like different areas like that, if you want to. Yeah, we'll do that. Nearly done. I hope you have enjoyed yourselves. And it wasn't too complicated, me trying to describe it. <laughs> that one can go on the foam or just stuck down and then this one can go on the foam. If you are going to stamp at the front, do the stamping first because obviously whilst there's something in there you can't stop and it doesn't fold flat down yeah. what? what now? Shut Dimensional. Well, I'm just trying to ignore you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're too big. Minis. Or cut it down. Yeah, I haven't um, cleaned the stamps, so be careful. Yeah. Moving the cards, which we're meant to be sending to people out of the way, which you put the dirty stamps on top of. Block down fair, protected by a block, but okay. still. 
I thought you, you were going to say you have ruined it. It's fine. No, you're fine. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button and share to your crafty friends as well. The video would be amazing. nailed it so I'm just gonna I won't die with it I'm just gonna use my trimmer for the tiny bits <laughs> is that straight that, that edge is straight okay that's fine so I'm just using that as a guide. I don't want too much border around. my mushrooms shrooms shrooms names in. yes don't forget to put your name down and we will be sending this card there so these are funky or you can have um like the sprig punch as well or the gold forever gold so you can have stuff on there or have a couple of snails. Oh, that would be so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna just stick that down there. So be careful that it doesn't again hit there. So Do you want some of the stamp in Stamp in silk glass? Oh, what? Just to see if it works. To, um, to stick it onto the window sheet rather than wet glue. Yeah? Okay. Because that should give you stronger addition. Okay. So Barry is giving me stamping seal. Plus. Plus. Don't forget the plus. So there's two types? Yes. I only, I don't need much. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> but don't forget if you have that edge, fold it up because you don't want that to be sticking down there. And we know that the width of that is an inch, so just stay clear an inch from the spine. He says, there you go. So I'm just gonna off center it. I didn't want it to the same. Maybe higher. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 slightly higher. I was being too stingy with the seal. <laughs> What's new? You don't have to comment, sorry. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we never get rid of anything. <laughs> sorry, I just had to double it up. You don't, if you've done it okay, it'll be fine, but. I was just overly cautious. There we go. So that is how good is that? The card. So yeah, are we giving that card away tonight? Yeah. Is that the card? Wow. Who wants it? So if some lucky person is going to win this beautiful card, I will have to take pictures first. <laughs> It might take me a couple of days. <laughs> just saying. <gasps> I'm just adding the mini. What you call it? Mushrooms. There. I did have another one. 
Test for interest. But yes, what other stamp set and dice are can have you thought of using this? Or that you will will you be making one of these? Um I can't remember there's one who follows us on Instagram and um we follow her as well. Japanese demonstrator and she's done one as well. Um I can't remember her name, but she used a different stamp set for her um, son's birthday card, I believe. And it was lovely. So that is your ledge pop-up card using the snail dit bundle. And the snail dit designer search paper. Is it called snail dit? Uh, colored in stamping blends. Um, and you get the pop-up so it will stay up like so and it's got loads of stuff in it inside Stunning. I'll just move my stuff away you could stamp the hearts instead of the DSP if you want to um, but yes <coughs> we had a coming home um, stamps as well and I, I was gonna use the trees from the coming home isn't that amazing so good so one lucky person is gonna win this tonight um, and what are we giving away for the second card on Wednesday shall we do my old one so we're going to give that one away on yeah. Wednesday. Okay, so this is the one we're going to give away tonight to everyone watching this live, but we will give away this card, um, the coming home Christmas card. Obviously, so you're going to get this after Christmas. Um, now, if you, it was obviously um, on Sunday. Yeah, it'll probably yeah. be too late for Christmas delivery, yeah. even for the UK, maybe. Um, so, or shall we, yeah, shall we do that one first and then that? So then, no, we'll this would it here. still be late? It would still be yeah, late. Okay. Yeah, yeah it right. doesn't matter. It, well, I'm it depends sure on where it goes to. If it's, if it's UK, it might get there. If it's overseas, it definitely won't get there. Yeah. Um, so, yes. But if whoever wins this anyway will have a nice Christmas card ready for next year. So, good. But this is what we're going to give away now. So, Jay's just going to just fill for a moment whilst I get the um, um, things up. So, yeah, just... do you like them? Um, I can't really love the snails, but the design is kind of awesome. Yeah, I think I think the snails are like Marmite. We really like them, but again... I quite like the, col the people, colours. I, yeah, yeah, I think we like the colours of them. And the the fact that they're, yeah, I think they're fun. I think they're just fun. It's not something I don't think we probably would have got, but I... I think we would have gone for it initially. I think, I think it was definitely one which we reminds, liked. It reminds us of the uh, um, the Angel Fallacy stamp set, like when we first started. Yes. Uh, it, that had snail mail on there as well. And we just like, ah, that's lovely. Um, yes, uh, Krista, yes. Um, I think you, you, you've you seen the post on Instagram as well. So, but I can't remember her name. But um, So, yes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Stay tuned because we're going to pick a winner in a yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, the Spot Creative Challenge is up and running. I haven't done it um, on time this, this week as well. I made a boo-boo and I created a project for next week instead of this week. So I did do uh, the theme this week is last minute gift. I don't have a gift, but I have a last minute gift tag. <laughs> uh, my thinking is if you create gift tags and you have a last minute gift, my mom normally has a just in case gift that she hides and pre-wrap. So if you make a gift tag, you can just put it on your last minute gift and it just looks like you've always, it's always been there. So this one was using the snowflake dice, which is carrying over to uh, next year's annual catalog. Um, prison fun uh, and prison friends dice, but it's just really simple using the tag tapper punch and then the dice as well. Um, this one, I say simple. I did co pre it was pre-colored. Um, it's one of our um, unfinished or, or unfinished projects that's in baggies in the stamp set. So I, it was just there. So it's just like I need to make one, but um, I haven't I haven't blocked it yet. So do check out the Spot Creative Challenge for more inspiration. Uh, every week we do different themes as well. 
And uh, if you haven't um, been aware yet, the next TNT online retreat uh, will be using the Simply Succulents. Um, we do have the stamp set. Um, we'll show you quickly. Are you nearly done? I am, yeah. I, was, I am done. So, yeah. So the next TNT is an all-day craft retreat. We'll be using the Simply, Simply Succulents and the goodie bag box, shall I say, because it'll come in a box. We'll include the stamp set. You can uh, upgrade to include the dies. Um, but and yes, if you do upgrade to include the dies, you would also get to pick a free celebration item Ooh. as well. You just miss out on it if you don't just go to the stamp set, because the stamp set is cheaper than £45. Um, but the stamp set and the dies takes you over £45 and um, yeah, you get to pick a freebie ice. So not only do you get the goodie box and all the, the day tutorial, do the day crafting with us, you also get a free a free stamp set as well. So um, it's and DSP and DSP and the DSP that we chose is I don't know. we can't remember. It's a, <laughs> it's a black and white one. It's a black and white. It's not yeah. part of the set. It's um, yeah. It's the it's from it's a, a love one, isn't it? But we liked it because it was very versatile. So good. All right. So Jay's just having a little look. Don't worry about that for now. We'll get that on Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday, on Sunday even. Just go for every day of the week. Yeah. So good. All right. So we're going to pick a winner to receive this card right here. So there we go, Drew. Yeah. Hold I'll, I'll hold it. I will hold it. <laughs> and Ooh. so remember, if anyone knows Deborah Grazini, Grazi, Graziani, sorry, if you um, are watching still... Remember to message us. But the winner of this particular card is going to be... Who is it? Oh, I didn't cut that bit. Good luck, everyone. Joanne. Joanne, congratulations. Please message us, Barry and Jay, at matusucrafts.com with your address and that you're happy to receive it and we will pop that in the post to you. So good. Well done, Joanne. Okay. Lovely. I love it. Sorry, I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> if <laughs> it'll still be in one piece, Joanne. Yes, it will be in one piece, <laughs> Joanne. I promise you. If not, you have to make another one. <laughs> so good, excellent. Um, so that's it for us tonight. Yeah. Don't forget to pop in a comment for the coming home ledge pop up card, which is going to be on the random draw on Sunday. Yes. So a lot of you are going to be watching the replay, I think, because you need the measurements down. So as you're watching the replay, get the me measurements in. Yeah. Get I, the uh, will, comments in. I will write a blog post. Yes. Cool. Krista, please remind us. Project manager. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Lovely. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, um, everyone. And See yes. you on... Sunday. Sunday. Maybe Friday afternoon on YouTube. I'm not quite sure yet if we're oh, going to be YouTube. around. On Facebook. Oh. Maybe some Friday afternoon on Facebook. Don't confuse people. But I'm not sure what we're doing it on Friday. So. Oh, okay. Yes. Jay's gone. I don't know what we're doing. But yes. I don't know what we're doing. See I'll, you later. I'll, I'll be gone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.